A frustrating thing for victims of gang stalking is a lack of support and not knowing where to find it. ArtisticMinistry.net has a new program, Arm Yourself with Knowledge. We'll let you know what's available, books, websites, even podcasts. Information equals power. We'll help you find some. And keep an eye out for our vlogcast for the pulling down of strongholds. We'll look at the problems in the Christian church entangling our loved ones and offer insight on how to pull them down. And drop us a line in the comments section of our ongoing series, Postcards for a TI. We'd love to hear from you. ArtisticMinistry.net, a source of inspiration and information for victims of gang stalking. Just because we're being targeted doesn't mean we can't grow. Shalom everybody, this is Saporia Green from ArtisticMinistry.net and I hope you enjoyed that commercial. That is uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is to, to get your... Uh, to get your opinion, to um, ask you to please leave a comment letting me know uh, if you were okay with the commercial, if the audio was okay, how the graphics worked out. Um, it's for the, uh, again, for the show, Arm um, Yourself with Knowledge, and um, also the vlogcast. And, um, you know, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and, and, and continue doing this. I know that um, there's been a lot happening um, the past, like, week and a half where I've been trying to to, to do these videos to kind of document some of what I've been dealing with and it's been really hard I just a lot of different you know I don't know video production is really hard it's really frustrating but um, just trying to uh, just to talk about what it is that I'm dealing with because I know that um, for a lot of times a lot of us we have we have that experience where there's almost like sometimes like this this lull in the in the targeting witch talking and then and then it will increase and then it will lull and so for me I've, I, I really feel that uh, the reason it had stopped or had decreased a little was because I had not been doing videos and then when I started to do them well then it started to increase and so um, I for me where I'm at with my life is I'm really trying to walk this path with the most high and so I haven't been really giving them a lot of attention and so in fact when I when I filmed that uh, the cars where they were following me and you know as I stayed there right there on that corner and how they just kept circling and you know pulling up in that same you know order and such that I was able to film and document I was actually out with my camera I was taking pictures of just different graffiti that was um, in and around downtown Oakland um, as many of you know I, I am an artist um, I'm not a graffiti artist but I definitely have a lot of admiration for for that for that particular expression it's just really I enjoy just they work on a surface that I don't work on they work with a medium that I don't work on it just feels very there's something very 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 free about it and it and I don't know I really like it and so that's what I was really out doing and since I had the camera out and I just noticed it I just I just filmed it and then I did the commentary but then I noticed that I, I found myself going into this place where it's like I wanted to document more of it just to prove that this is really what's happening because this is something that it's such a phenomenon that if unless you are unless you're dealing with it yourself it's it's hard to believe that it's happening unless you um, unless you're there with someone someone who maybe let's say you're watching this video and you're not uh, a victim of gang stalking targeting and you don't even know what it is that I'm really talking about this might not make any sense to you and so because many of us have had that experience where we've tried to share with people and we've been met with disbelief when we've been met with you know our our, our thinking is being questioned our sanity is being you know it is is now up for you know for sus for, for, for suspicion where we want to document this to prove you know this is really what's happening there are people in in certain colored cars that are following me there are people that are wearing certain colored um, items of clothing and they are saying things and doing things and you know and we want to because everyone wants to be believed everyone wants to be taken seriously and um, I think maybe the day after that 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 um, or the might have been that night or the night after they were doing the noise campaign and um, it woke me up it was around three or four in the morning and I looked out the window and of course I saw some of them you know the cars were out there and the people were in the cars and so I you know I immediately grabbed my camcorder and started you know recording this because I thought oh, I gotta film this this is this is the noise campaign and I've got to and I've got to put this on my YouTube channel and prove it and the Holy Spirit just kind of like tapped me on the shoulder gave me a reality check it's like what you know I don't even give this type of attention to my housework and yet I'm going to give these people this kind of attention these are people who are 
they're doing something that is that is very that is very mean spirited. They're doing something that is on us on many levels. It's very you know unethical. It's um, I think there's a lot of the witch talking. There's a lot of demonic influence. That they probably don't see it that way. They justify it probably that they're trying to support their community and rid their community of of what uh, just undesirables or, or or however they tell themselves why they're doing it but at the core of it um for someone to do someone just the hateful cruel just 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 vile things that they do and then get some type of satisfaction when they see how it destroys someone how it emotionally can destroy them financially destroy them ruin someone's family ruin someone's intimate relationship and see someone going down maybe into spiraling down into addiction or alcoholism or seeing someone literally fall into just the clutches you know of mental insanity and be okay with that and get some type of a, a satisfaction from that there's clearly there's, a, there's another program running in the background and that program is, is it's a demon that's how, that's how I see it and those people are going to be on a certain level they're going to be held accountable for that and so that's why it's easy it's easy for me to, 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 to stand back and to let go of that and to not give them that attention and I found myself starting to, to give them that attention and the Holy Spirit just gave me a reality check to just focus my life on you know my walk with the most high and keeping my keeping that communication you know with with the most high and not with them it's um i know that some of you who are watching my channel you know what i'm dealing with because you're dealing with it too and for those of you who don't know or who don't believe okay i don't know what to tell you you know what i'm saying because i'm not going to be running around with the camera you know trying to film these people there's that there's person that's the perpetrator that's the same perp it's the same one i'm not going to be doing that um so you believe it or you don't believe it you know my concern is 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 my connection with the most high and doing this um having this section of of my ministry you know dedicated to the victims of targeting where we where when they come to my ministry to my website to my channel on youtube where they can get some inspiration where they can get some information as as a way to because i get a reward and a blessing from it and you get a reward and a blessing from it that's where my focus is at it's not on them and so i i found myself you know doing that you know putting that putting these perpetrators in the center of my life and you know it's something that I used to do when I was first starting to deal with this giving them my power giving them my influence arranging my day arranging my travel to avoid this door to avoid this bus stop and just giving them that type of a focus out of fear out of just a sense of just uncertainty and I'm no longer in that place and I don't have to do that and I encourage you to move into a place where the let the most high be your refuge so that you can have that type of, of 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 distancing emotional and spiritual distancing from them and they don't get that type of power that's what i encourage you to do and so there you have it that's um yeah please leave a comment let me know um are you still in that place where you are giving them that type of attention if so why um if you're not when did you what happened for you that you stopped doing it how did you get your reality check um also comment on this uh commercial let me know what you thought about that um and um because i'm going to be doing book reviews and podcast reviews and website reviews um are there any podcasts that you want me to review are there any websites that you found that you um would like to have reviewed or any book titles that you're that you're reading that you want talked about um yeah let's 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 just keep going forward okay and with that i say shalom